did a new album recently um, of 70s rock tunes that I learned when I was at school, um, but for solo guitar. And uh, when I was at school, I, I was just a real kind of rock head. I didn't play anything else. I didn't have an acoustic guitar, I only had a, an electric at that point. And um, one thing I thought about when I was trying to figure out how to play these arrangements and you know, how to make it work so that it didn't sound, you know, without overdubbing or anything. What I did was, uh, on, a, on a tour in, I think it was uh, somewhere in Asia, Hong Kong or Japan or somewhere, I was playing some, I was playing some dates and I, I played uh, <coughs> one, of, one of these tunes just as an experiment to see if it worked. And everybody went a bit bonkers and then they were expecting more stuff and I only had one tune. So, so it wasn't to be, <laughs> so they had to remain disappointed. But I started working on it, and um, for guitar players in the audience, um, I'm not really uh, much for different tunings. I, I usually just use normal tuning. I find life on the guitar difficult enough without having to complicate it by tuning a different way. But dadgad tuning is traditionally for Celtic music, you know, sort of... Uh, <laughs> kind of stuff and um, I, for some reason it seems to work quite well for the, the kind of rock thing and I didn't want to play too many tracks from the CD because obviously if you don't like 70s rock music you're going to hate the CD so I thought I'll just play a couple um, but it just gave you a little flavour of what I was thinking in my mind when I was trying to work things out. The sound, the dad guy sound is a nice ringy sound but it also works quite well for you know some of these tunes. <laughs> That's one example. <laughs> something, something completely different, but still pretty relevant to when I was a kid. Um, I th probably heard this on Top of the Pops when I was sitting on my kind of, uh, floor of my parents' front room. And it's, uh, it's a David Bowie tune, and it, as soon as I started playing this on guitar, it seemed to take on a different sort of thing for me, because I'm used to hearing it one way, and then I had, a, I had to go like this, and it sounds, it's quite weird when I, even now when I play it, it, it sounds completely different from how I remember it, although it's the same tune, obviously. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay, so that's another one. Then there's a whole bunch of other stuff on there which I'm not going to go through, but I would like to play one sort of full version. Um, this is Honky Tonk Women by The Stones. And um, last year I did a gig with Ronnie Wood and Bill Wyman and gave them a copy of this. And amazingly enough, they actually emailed me back. Not to say we're suing you, <laughs> which, was, which was great because they've got a lot of money. Um, to say how much they enjoyed it, they thought it was great. And uh, no one was more surprised than me because uh, I thought Ronnie Wood didn't know I was there when I was talking to him. <laughs> ne never mind, here's the CD. Because I gave him a CD and it was, uh, it was backstage at the Albert Hall. It was a big kind of gig. And um, I was quite starstruck, really, because I was meeting people that I grew up listening to and playing on stage with these people was amazing. But So I'm giving out CDs. Uh, Brian May gave him one and uh, Ronnie and, and Bill and all that. And Sure enough, they actually, they can operate machinery, they can, they can, you know, they can email and all this, it was great. So no one more surprised than me when I got emails back from them, so it was really, it was really nice. Even Brian May, I thought, you know, he'll have, he'll have people who do that for people, that do that for his people sort of thing, but no, it was nice. So it's good to get a, you know, I thought it might have been a bit strange for them to see their music done like this, but they seem to really like it. And obviously, you know, like uh, Ronnie and Brian being guitar players, um, it's, it's something different for them, so it's very encouraging. And 
uh, I think the record company put one of the quotes on the on the CD from somebody that just thought it was great. So I'm going to do this version. It's Honky Tonk Women. I haven't played this uh, live, I don't think, maybe more than once. So there's potential for disaster in the middle. Um, but if you think back to the Stones, plenty of times when they fell off the stage and stuff. So I'm trying to keep it as authentic as I possibly can. So this is Honky Tonk Women. Thank you very much.